Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Laura and on this channel we like to talk about witchcraft, spirituality, law of attraction, and of course do tons of pick a card tarot readings. So today we are going to talk about the wonderful subject of transmutation. This is where you can transmute the energies, the emotions, those feelings into manifestations. Anybody who's ever watched Sailor Moon, you might have seen her fight demons and villains who use transmutation for their gain. So essentially, what are you transmuting? Any emotion that is really powerful in your life, we are taking that power and we are redirecting it into whatever manifestation we are actively trying to achieve. So for example, let's just say you are going through a really hard time and you're dealing with so much anxiety. Think of all the hours, all of the minutes that you spend just racing thoughts and heart beating and just being anxious and all of the time and focus that that consumes from your life. What if we can take all of that energy, all of that time that we spend on that negative thing and transmute it into something positive like a beautiful career for ourselves, a large amount of money, a love interest, something that we really want instead. There are many different ways that I use transmutation in my practice, in my witchy practice, so let me talk about them. I'm gonna tell you what I've done recently. I have been experiencing some relationship anxieties in my life, you know, trust issues, all that stuff that I've been working through, um, especially like these past two years, and you know, it's very consuming, you know? Staying up all night, worrying about a relationship, worrying about a friendship that honestly is perfectly fine, it's just my own anxiety, whatever. All of those hours that I spent just being in that anxious state. One night I was talking to my spirit guides and they said, Lara, why don't you transmute all of this energy? Why don't you redirect this energy towards something more productive. And so every time I felt myself getting anxious, felt myself overthinking, and really felt that energy building up, I would burn that energy off through work. So anytime I found myself worrying about love, I went and I filmed a pick a card tarot reading. Anytime I found myself worrying about friendships, I went and I filmed a friendship pick a card tarot reading. Um, and so I used this energy and I transmuted it into something productive, something that helps everyone who subscribes to me here on YouTube and helps me make money, you know? So it's, a po it's turning a negative thing into a positive thing. Over time, that really helped because when you redirect negative thinking like that, your mind gets used to that redirection and it eventually, the pattern of going back to that negative thought will eventually kind of rewrite itself the more you do that. People use transmutation all the time and they don't even realize it. So let's just find more examples. What's another thing that you spent a lot of focused time and energy on? <laughs> I know a powerful one. So if you've ever been in a relationship where you just felt like your time was wasted, you know, one of those relationships where you left and the other person, you know, their whole life elevated because of you you know they started dressing better speaking better you inspired them to you know go after their dreams their goals you know all these amazing things that came out of your love for them but they didn't return the same energy back to you and then you're just left with trauma and lies and betrayal <laughs> That can be a real energy waster, time waster, time drainer, right? So we can do a spell, a ritual, to recall all of that energy that we poured into that other person. I'm not gonna give you a step-by-step -step spell to do here, because honestly, when you're working with magic and the law of attraction, I feel like it's more powerful to create your own ritual and talk to your spirit guides one-on-one -on -one as if they're a friend and have that interpersonal connection there. But what I would do in that scenario is I would cleanse my space with smoke and sound, put on some singing bowl music from YouTube or whatever, because I don't have any. And I would call forward my higher self first and foremost, all my spirit guides, the four directions, mother earth, daddy spirit, all that stuff. And I will request, or not request, I would proclaim all the time and energy 
and love that I poured into this person, poured into this situation that turned out to be quite toxic for me, I am now calling it back. And if you have a bell, this would be a really good spell or ritual to use the bell and you just ring the bell and have that energy come rushing back into you and really feel it rushing back into you. Visualize it rushing back into you. And bells would be really good for this specifically because if you think about bells, um, they're kind of always been used to call energy in and also to disperse energy. So bells and bowls have been used for negative energy clearing for thousands of years. But also think of like a schoolyard or a church, the bells go off and that tells everybody, okay, it's time to come in now, you know, whatever. So. It's a great tool to use in that type of calling back of your energy ritual. I did a ritual like that a few times in my life because unfortunately I made the same mistake over and over again um, for just a couple year period of my life. I was just making bad choices when it came to the people who I allowed into my energy field. And so I did that calling my energy back spell, transmutation. And what I did was I imagined all that time energy love going into mother earth to be purified and cleansed and turned back into a source energy and it was free it was no longer tied up to that person to that relationship and so it just all came back to me and i noticed that every time i did these rituals i had a lot of unexpected blessings and ideas and growth and new people come to me um, in the months following because that's the thing it will come back to you you know you're visualizing it coming back to you you're feeling it coming back to you but on a physical uh realm level you'll notice this energy coming back to you in the forms of like unexpected gifts and new people who are really great for you and ideas and like just newness in your life um, that's just really fulfilling. And you know, that's why I always say that people who have gone through massive amounts of trauma in their life, like, yeah, that's not a good thing. Obviously, I wouldn't wish that on anybody, but I ask people to resist taking on the victim mentality in those situations and carrying that victim mentality because it can actually, like, I'm not gonna say trauma is a blessing in disguise, but I feel that people who have gone through stuff like that, you know, they have great potential to live a very elevated lifestyle after that trauma. So you, you know, obviously expended a lot of emotions and time and just energy towards whatever it is that traumatized you, whatever it is that you went through. But if you were able to do a transmutation spell, calling that energy back, purifying it, and then calling it back to you, you can see massive blessings unfold in your life. I'm talking like massive amounts of wealth or fame or fortune, just success in general. I always say like, th that's the thing about the universe. Everything is always balanced in ways that you can see if you look hard enough. So if you've gone through a really difficult childhood or had really hard memories in your life, I promise you those scales will be balanced and you will have a very happy future. If you had a pretty normal, you know, privileged childhood, you don't have to feel bad or anything. That's a good thing. And I wish most people lived like that, but um, that creates a nice even keel for you. So transmutation guys, it's, it's something definitely worth looking into, especially if you know, you have a past which we all do, you know, call that energy back to you. However, we experience very heavy emotions even in the present moment. So this isn't something that we have to do just with the past. We can take our feelings right now in the present moment and transmute it into something really positive, okay? So, oh, I have another example for you. Okay, so like I, like I was just telling you, I get some relationship anxiety sometimes and, you know, I think it was just, you know, whatever. The reason why, we don't have to get into. So one day I was just having a hard time with someone in my life and we weren't quite seeing eye to eye and there was a huge misunderstanding and I felt very like I, like I was lied to and other negative things. And like, you know, it was just that flush of like anxiety, that nausea, that I'm gonna crap my pants, <laughs> that heart beating really fast type of anxiety. And I'm like, I started drawing something. I started drawing a dragon, which I've been obsessed with drawing in the past couple of months. And with this particular dragon, I wanted to make it golden. Golden dragons are known for prosperity. And I'm doing all these affirmations in the background. I didn't actually finish it, but when I first started it, I was like hyper fixating on this um, while I was feeling this anxiety. 
I was transmutating that anxiety into this piece of artwork that is representing prosperity. So now when that piece is finally finished, I can hang it up on the wall, I can do whatever I want with it, and every time somebody sees it or is, or is around it, they are going to receive some prosperity, some luck, some money, some blessings. So it's just a really beautiful way of taking something negative and just kind of cleansing it and turning it into something really positive. Energy is always moving around. It's never created or destroyed, right? That's like the first law of physics or whatever. I don't know. I never took physics, <laughs> but it can never be created. It can never be destroyed. You're just moving it around. And the human mind has the potential of transmuting these strong emotions that you're feeling anyways and turning it into something else. Humans are naturals at this. You know, look at the female body, for example. We can take sperm and turn it into a baby. That's transmutation in its own right, you know? We talked a lot about emotional transmutation. Is there any other forms of it? Of course there are. And this was one of my most powerful spells I wanna share with you. And this is kind of just a, a story, like a video of me sharing stuff, so. Um. <laughs> I don't really have a point where I'm going with this other than you have to do transmutation because it will change your life. The most powerful spell I've ever done in my life was a transmutation spell. So one day I was clearing out my closet um, and my room. You know, I was living with my parents in a very tiny bedroom. I didn't have that much space. And so I was going through all my old stuff and I found all my old journals and diaries. And as I was reading them, you know, I realized how I kept, like in the journals, like entry after entry, I was complaining about the same people, the same problems, the same things for years on end. And it was really depressing. I was very depressed as a child. Um, and it was just negative, negative energy. And you know, I'm somebody who really finds value in nostalgia and you know, keeping a close link to the past. And so I really didn't want to get rid of these journals, but at the same time, I just felt this, this calling, this urge to just start fresh in life, you know, have a fresh, clean slate. And so I did a transmutation spell where I took all those old journals and I also had a bunch of old sketches and artwork. I've been drawing like my whole life um, that were just, either like stained or had holes in it or like were poorly preserved or even if I just didn't like them. I took all this stuff and even the ones that I really liked, um, I did keep a few though because I still want to, you know, look back at my artwork from years past and, you know, see how I have grown in that right. But I took most of them, took all my journals and I burned them all in a fire. And as I burned them in a fire, I envisioned the energy, the time that I spent hundreds, thousands of hours worrying over these issues, doing these pieces of art, doing these sketches. I imagined all that energy, all that time being cleansed and purified in the flames and returning back to me. And so when I did this ritual, I was in a really tough spot in life. I was in a toxic living situation. I knew that I had to get out of. Um, I was going to school for something that I didn't feel like I was using the degree for. I was in debt from going to school and I just had no money whatsoever. I was on the verge of homelessness because it, my living situation was so bad. Like it was at the point where I'd rather just be on the streets. So I was, you know, my original plan was to just try getting like a crappy apartment shared with a billion roommates in West Philly, which is not a good neighborhood for anybody who's from this area. And <clears throat> within a couple of months, it was really weird. The universe and the events of my life kind of coordinated itself to where I ended up living in a beautiful, full house and having this house to myself, having a whole entire room for my office, my bedroom, a spare bedroom, a spare other room, like all of this extra space I didn't need, all of these beautiful blessings I could not even envision and I didn't even have to pay for it. I didn't even have to pay the bills. And you're thinking like, how is that even possible? Like that's just not even realistic. I am telling you guys, it's called magic for a reason. It is possible. I didn't think it was possible either, okay? I was literally like, I had the biggest lack mentality um, back in those days and I still struggle with it from time to time now. 
but I did transmutation and that energy had no option but to come back to me. And when it was coming back to me, I was in the state of mind of, I need a new living situation that's perfect for me. What can I do to work with this energy? That's where my mindset was when I did this transmutation spell. I wasn't actively trying to visualize, you know, this energy, you know, going towards a new living situation. I just wanted it to come back to me generally. And I was pretty open to how it would come back to me. And within less than six months, I'm living in a whole brand new, amazing house. And this is like just truly amazing. It was literally magic. I was also in a very healthy relationship and it went from like having severe relationship anxiety and trust issues to like the most comfortable, beautiful, amazing relationship of my life. Within those six months, that's when those developments happened and everything I'm talking everything in my life changed. The people that I used to hang out with at that time I did the transmutation spell, boom, stop talking to me, all of them. <laughs> Which you, you might be thinking that's terrifying, that's scary, that's awful. But let me tell you, that was the best thing that possibly could have happened to me because looking back on it, they sucked. <laughs> and they were holding me back in life for several different reasons, but oh my gosh, transmutation. <laughs> so. Do a calling back of your energy ritual, however you see fit. I'm not gonna give you a guideline. You're gonna have to do it yourself. You can do a fire spell like I did. Um, you can just do an energy clearing and visualize all this energy coming back. What, whatever you wanna do, just do it. <laughs> Use transmutation with present emotions if they're very strong. You could also be like me if you're feeling intense anxiety or depression, channel it into a piece of magical artwork or music. Okay, we see musicians do that all the time. Musicians are magicians, okay? That's why they're so similar sounding. They turn that emotion into a song and that song can heal hundreds of thousands of millions of people. It can profoundly impact so many different people. Musicians are magicians. They already know the art of transmutation. Most of them do. Um, they're just not consciously thinking about it in that way most of the time, like, oh, I'm doing magic right now. But let me tell you, music itself has magical spiritual roots. When humans discovered music, honey boo boo bears, there was a direct connection to the divine when that happened. And that was definitely a gift from the universe, okay? Music is a form of magic. That's why it's so similar, music magic. <laughs> so I'd love to hear your ideas down below. What kind of transmutation magic and rituals are you going to do? Like, do you have any idea how you're going to use transmutation in your life? Are you feeling inspired to do transmutation? And also, I want to know what emotions are really strong for you that you think you can transmute, okay? There's so many different things you can do. So many powerful emotions. I definitely recommend people who are highly emotionally volatile to do transmutation magic because let me tell you, it's amazing. <laughs> you guys are gonna be really powerful at this. If you're like generally a pretty even keeled person who doesn't get emotional too often, not gonna lie, this might not be the best type of magic for you because you know, you're literally harnessing your own past and story and emotions into something else. You can use transmutation to transmute things outside of yourself as well, using the same principles, if that's what you're into. But I don't know, it's it's very, and very interesting. So try it out. Thank you guys. Like this video, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you have subscribed, I adore you. Okay. If you want a psychic reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, or if you want to buy one of my intention oils, which you can use in your magical practice, you can use it to anoint yourself and your objects. If you want to make an object more magical right now i have a goddess energy intention oil and you use it to maximize your goddess energy men and women can use this okay it's the energy of the divine feminine the ability to attract whatever you want to you and to seduce and charm and just be a flirty a magical empress queen goddess whatever you want to call it um, and that will, that is honestly just going to enhance whatever your intentions are. So I highly recommend getting that intention oil from my shop. And I will see you guys for the next video. Bye.